In today's video, we're going to be continuing in the far tight slot formation out of the West Coast Playbook. We're going to be taking a look today at a crossing concept that's going to do a really good job of attacking the right side of the field. Now, uh, most of the offense has kind of been centered around being able to attack the middle of the field or being able to attack the left side of the field. And so in today's video, we're going to show you how to attack um, the right side of the field. Now, you are still going to want to keep your twins to the short side. And it's because we're going to take advantage of kind of a unique little motion that this formation allows us to have. And the play we're going to be taking a look at today is called the play flats. Again, we're in the West Coast um, offensive playbook. Now, uh, what you're going to want to do is, like I said, you want to have your twins to the short side for this. And because what we want to do ideally is like, let's say, for example, we're on the right hash mark, then we just want to flip the formation and it will still be able to be ran basically the same. What it does is it kind of simplifies the game offensively for you and it kind of makes sure that you're living in the same world that you're practicing in, if you will. So uh, what we're going to do with this setup is we are going to put our running back on a streak. And then we're going to motion him out to the right. And what you're going to see is it's going to put him all the way out here to the sideline. From there, what I like to do is a couple different things uh, that you can do. Number one, you can just leave it and literally run the play just like this. And this is not too bad of a setup. But really what I like to do with this backside receiver is I like to put him on a, um, a little five-yard in route, something simple just like this. And then you're also gonna have your tight end on that out route. What this is gonna do is it's gonna kind of create essentially a high-low concept. Now, another little thing that you can do if you want to, to kind of increase the likelihood that this guy can get open is you could run this setup like this and then just take your tight, your uh, fullback and put him on a little swing pass to the left side. Um, another thing you can do with your fullback is put him on a little in route, or you can literally just run the play like this. But what this benefits you is you're able to really get that high low on the right side of the field. And the reason that that is significant is because most people are going to be doing some type of coverage that is trying to take away either the low flat or the high flat on that side, but they're probably not gonna be able to take away the intermediate sideline, which is where this crossing route is gonna really help us. So this kind of forces them into a completely way of having to play defense against us. And you'll see this crosser does a pretty good job. It's probably one of the better crossers in the game at being able to consistently beat man to man. Now, before we go into the zone coverage, I did want to tell you guys quickly about the Patreon. If you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. And so I would really encourage you, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, to consider joining it. It's only $10. We'll teach you everything that we know. We, are, we already have over 25 different offensive and defensive eBooks that we released in Madden 23 alone. And we're going to be doing even more for Madden 24. So if you're not in the Patreon yet, I'd really encourage you to think about it. It's only $10 to sign up. The link's going to be down in the description below. So the other thing that you can do with this to kind of help against a double Mabel setup is to put your tight end on a in route or a drag route. And the reason why is because your tight end will basically pull the flat zones out of the middle of the field and it will pull them to the sideline. The reason this is helpful is because if you're in a, if someone's playing a defense that looks kind of like this, then you're gonna see right here that this curl is gonna help you uh, be a potential check down option. So again, you can put your tight end on five yard in route or a drag, that's kind of up to you, uh, whichever route you like. I actually probably prefer the in route, but notice how the flats get pulled. Actually the cloud flat didn't even get pulled, but if it's a zone drop cloud, it will probably uh, more than likely get pulled to the sideline. So that's another thing that you can do, but really the cool benefit of putting the, um, the cool benefit of putting the backside guy on a little five yard in route it, as opposed to a curl is now you're going to have kind of a read over the middle of the field. So you'll see like right here, you got that little in route. It's kind of a check down over the middle. And then you also have that tight end going to the flat, which is really, really helpful. So there's some things you can do with that. Um, but overall, the, the, the main purpose of this play is truly to get us to flood the right side of the field um, because everything else that we do offensively from this formation we're trying to get into the middle of the field or we're trying to get to the left side um, and so what we want to do is we want to flood that wide side and that's why this motion out is really helpful for that and so you'll see right here that this crosser just gets in that nice sweet spot over the middle 
as well as to that right side sideline. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook uh, membership, join the Patreon today. It gets you access to all of the ebooks, over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as several updates. And we've even dropped some Madden 24 stuff that you can start working with today. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.